Back in my teenage years at Manchester High School of Midlothian, Virginia, I really felt emotionally rich because I had a great number of friends. The closest and majority of were some sweet girls. My circle of gal pals was the best asset and blessing anyone could ever ask for. They understood me, and I understood them. We appreciate each other. We hung out, conversed, and hung out you know, between within our classes, like home ec and uh, science and math and even English. And sometimes we would help each other out. Those are the best of times, pretty much. And even I even had a high school sweetheart like most would. And the quality throughout was great. It would be most appreciated by any person, autistic or not. Sadly though, about my high school years, of which I can only complain about, were two things. And I did not realize these till after I graduated. I actually want to realize mid-graduation. But after graduation, I realized that I was naive on the subject of dating throughout high school. The mandatory sexual education class is good for after date number three and so, but how do we even get to date number one? That's my question. I really would have appreciated a mandatory dating education class alongside sexual education. Also, abstinence is a joke. The virgin breaker needs to happen before adulthood arrives because being an adult virgin sucks. Even for us autistics and mentally challenged. And the second thing about my high school years that I, could, I would complain about is my high school graduation ceremony. It was a very depressing day. It was raining, it was dark, it was dreary. Anyway, I got, went up and got my diploma and uh, I did not shake anybody's hand. I mean, there were important people there. I did not shake anybody's hands. I just grabbed my diploma, cried, and ran off the stage. Went to a back room, set up, set a table by myself for a little while. Then my best gal pal, Tip, met up with me, and uh, she made me feel a little better. I would love to uh, see her again, at least hang out for a little while. My high school years were the best and most emotionally encouraging for me. But after graduation in 2000 and moving back to Lane Ruckersville, it was all downhill for me. My adult years suck, and I'm soon to turn 29. I left my heart back at Manchester High in Midlothian. I, gra I also graduated from Piedmont Virginia Community College with a uh, degree in computer aid drafting and design, but that, and that graduation went better for me because I did not have so many fr I did not have many friends back there. And plus, Marilee Walsh just plain hated me. Obvi and obviously I uh, talked ill about her in comics I drew, Portrayed Her as a Witch. She made it apparent that it was illegal to find true love in the state of Virginia. And that Virginia was a state for virgins. She still ticked me off of me. Even after I apologized to her for portraying her the way I did in my books, she would not accept my apology and she banned me from the grounds of Piedmont Virginia Community College. That's a one hell of a thank you for an apology or an apology accepted. Obviously she did not accept my apology. I hope she gets fired, period. And I also hope that the Game and Hobby place in Charlottesville burns to the ground, along with Michael Snyder. And that's all my ranting for right now. 